So we got a call for a GMC Sierra that is stuck. So we got a call for a GMC Sierra that's in a bad spot up here on East Zion in the poverty area. Uh, they sent us a picture. It looks like it's at a pretty good angle on kind of a side of a bank. So we're going to head up there and see if we can get it out. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. It got a little rain, about 60 degrees. And uh, we'll go up and get them out. All I was told is it's an East Zion. Um, and it's a truck hanging over a cliff. Matt showed me a picture of it like tipped over. So it's another one of those, kind of like the Ford Excursion or the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We'll get them out. Should be a good time. So how far back are you? Well, uh, like, I'll say like uh, about four miles down the road. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so are we going to follow you in? Are you jumping in with us? Or what are we doing? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll jump with you guys. It's okay. cool. <laughs> There's three seats in that one and one seat in this one. We've got our five minutes of fame now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thanks. You guys are a lightsaber. Oh, no problem. Okay, we'll follow you since you know where we're going. Yeah, we, we got pretty stuck on the on the on one of the sandbanks. Oh yeah? Yeah, my truck's not made for that, you know. So this this road gets really rugged though. Like we're starting to we're starting to get into some stuff here. We're like seven miles in, aren't we, Ed? Yeah, kinda off on it. This is like getting direction for fall. <laughs> this pretty rough road down in the canyon to the river. Matt says he can't quite make it to the river though, but this guy ran off the edge. He didn't say why, but he, he did. And we'll find him pretty soon. <laughs> I know what idiot did that man it's like run off the road like that nah it'll be fine <laughs> that's what they tell us <laughs> you have some it's gonna be, so be fine, fine. And then, yeah it's like what the doctor Shit. tells that <laughs> patient yeah, 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 you'll, you'll, be, be, you'll be good <laughs> pretty good yeah it is pretty good I think we need to get you right here backed up in here with your winch and I want to bridle to the front and bridle to the hitch and turn the wheels to the right, crab walk this thing back up here. So if we do a snatch block with your winch. Off of that tree? That's a big enough tree right there. Yeah. But we're going to want to get you anchored too, like to that tree. What if I came up here anchored to you, like right here, snatch block from that tree. So pull the, back. Yeah, as long as it's not pulling both of us. Up. Yeah. Be like, so, yes. People so, love them when they're on their side like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, man. It's gonna be dry. I know, hey, we get the whole time. How, uh, how do you want me to position? Straight back into me. Straight back. Yep. Okay. We could lock pendle hitches. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna rot rotate my in 40, 90 degrees. Okay, come on back. Okay, yeah. stop right there. Some like super duty hooking up. Yep. <laughs> okay, pull forward real gentle, Rudy. Okay, right there. Okay, put it in reverse in two-wheel drive and bury this back axle. Okay. Okay, now do it in forward. Stretch this row. Okay, let me, let me dig in. I'm gonna dig in. 
in now. Mine's supporting your, your wheat patch. <laughs> no kidding. So, what are you all pulling out? <laughs> that truck over there? <laughs> I meant the ropes. What ropes so, are you using? We're going to build a little bridle here. You can come and see it. So you're talking about doubling back to the tree. To then. the tree. Mm -hmm. And that'll get, that'll split the pull between our anchor and the tree and double what the winch can put on. Yeah. You need to put the winch on it. <laughs> this is why he hates winches. Because we suck at exactly why I hate winches. So go ahead and go ahead and pull that in. Okay, you there? Where are the keys? I left them out there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Can I get my soda, man? I'm thirsty. Is this only two wheel drive? It's all yeah. two wheel drive. Are you kidding me? No, like no, bro. Two wheel drive, dude. another winch here. Okay, get out of the triangle of death for a second. I want to just see what this is doing. So it's dropping the front wheel down. So people on our YouTube channel ask all the time, why do you buy a truck that's not four-wheel drive? I don't know, bro. Get the answer. <laughs> you don't know. Not me. I don't know. I man. see your army stickers, too. Bro! Whose army stickers? <laughs> all right. There's a quick and solution to this, and that's to look at the front. <laughs> Leave it in park, the parking brake on, and just get the front end of that truck right here. <laughs> Relax it. Yeah. So Rudy, run, run this out to the front of the truck. I think, I think that's. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just saying, worst case scenario, we can put it in the wash. Yeah, not upside down now, though. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
pressure off. <laughs> that's my that's what this is my worries right really now. We're probably good enough. That's probably good yep. enough. get out of your way you pull them up okay and then we back oh that's a good idea let's do that <laughs> the mosquitoes were getting to me and biting me guess i got sweet blood or something so i put my jacket on and they ain't a problem no more Hang on a second, let me see that camera and the flashlight. Our lovely camera person. Don't forget who's swinging these things. Yep. There are other ones on the back of the truck. No, I just went and got it. That's this one. I think this is mine. I just pulled it off the tree. Oh, wait, this is yours. I didn't pull mine out. That's okay. what it is. I'm trying to get another rope. You should too. <laughs> That's all for recovery.com. But I think we're gonna get it done, nonetheless. It's still lit with our smiles. Banana? Yeah, and then pull it up there to that turnaround. All right. <laughs> Going in through the window? Yep. Oops. Duke's a hazard style. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to drive down and turn this around. We're going to use some speed to do it. Let's see how this goes. Not looking so good. I'm gonna have to put this down. Woo! Lizzie, jump in that thing and drive it out. Just be nice and easy. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. And give, give me room, like 
if there's an obstacle or some sand, don't go to the top and stop and wait for me. Let me, because I might have to carry a little momentum to get through it. Okay. So just kind of okay. stay out of my way. Okay, sounds good. That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> it's the right thing to say yeah. at the right time. Um, so do you guys want to jump in with Rudy? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go, go with him. We'll go with him. Seen it, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys gotta see it. Lars. Nice to meet you guys. You guys were awesome. Thank, nice thank you. you. Well, what do you think of that, Ed? Well, that was an experience and a half. You had a job getting that out of there. But it shouldn't have been in there in two-wheel drive. Oh, I was. Did you see the disappointment on my face when, yeah. I, when yeah. I realized it was yeah. a two-wheel drive? Yeah. I'm like, uh. This isn't going to work. We have to come up with a new plan. Boy. Yeah, that was a job. So here's an update on the Corvair. Um, as you can see, we have been working on it day and night. We've got the glass in it. We have got all the, the headliner upholstery pieces, the trim, uh, door handles, all the emblems. The tires are in. Um, new Milestar Patagonias and bead locks are done. Yeah, look for the reveal next week. Doo -doo -doo. And thanks for watching.